The technology is changing the face of uh, healthcare from both the patient side and the healthcare provider side. Uh, we are experiencing this shift from um, treating the disease to preventing and predicting the disease. So now with all the wearable devices and technology advance, the, device, the wearables are not even more devices. Sensors are now smart fabrics. And just by wearing a t-shirt, for example, we will gather the data on our ECG um, temperature, blood pressure, and like this huge amount of data that wouldn't be otherwise uh, possible to uh, interpret by a, an average human with artificial intelligence, we can crunch all that data and actually predict the disease before it happens. And so the healthcare industry is moving towards a more patient-centric approach for a couple of years now. And there are quite a number of tech companies out there, including Derma, that can provide more reliable and ultimately more uh, cheaper data um, that can help to achieve that goal of uh, patient centricity. So our healthcare system is focused almost exclusively in treating people after they get sick. But with over 86% of the US's $2.7 trillion annual health spend spent on chronic diseases, we really need to look to technology to move towards investing more resources in prevention. Being a cardiac patient is hard. People have a ticking bomb in their chest, yet no means to understand what is happening with their heart. And even in a case of a heart attack, symptoms can be mild and ambiguous, so they delay to go to the hospital until it's too late. A golden standard is an ECG. And what we do, we bring ECG to every patient home, so when they feel symptoms, they know how to react. And this can be life-saving moments, but this is bringing peace of mind and security to the patient and their families. Derma 4.0 is developing an algorithm which can detect skin cancer better than dermatologists can. The benefit for, for our users is that it can ultimately save some of their lives. Um, it certainly will reduce the number of biopsies that they have to go through. And the benefit for the health insurers is that they can save a lot of cost, for example, through um, less skin cancer treatments that they have to go through. The Balance's mission is to end lifestyle diseases. We believe the best way of doing that is to provide deeply personalised individual health coaching. So we use artificial intelligence to provide a virtual health coach to people uh, who can chat to their health coach WhatsApp style on a mobile app and they can ask for help to do with uh, improving exercise, diet, stress, any sleep, any manner of their well-being. So all the technology that allows us to shift the focus from treating the disease, which is the most costly option, to preventing the disease is now in the, in the interest of the insurer. Technology uh, provides not only a great opportunity to improve people's health and the quality of their lives, but also to deliver massive cost savings to insurers. So given all the research showing a really strong link between physical activity, uh, including that measured by steps per day, a lot of insurers are using data from customers' wearables and mobile apps to reward them and incentivize them to keep active and to maintain healthy habits. And some insurers are even going further and using data from wearables and smartphones to develop new risk assessment and underwriting models so that they can offer discounts and uh, additional benefits to their members who can demonstrate that through their healthy lifestyles and their physical activity that they're reducing their health risks and lowering their mortality risks.